guys. Oh, I look absolutely knackered. That's because I am. Um, I don't know why I'm holding the, holding the mic. So I'm going to do my stand up sitting down because I'm mad. Um, this is the practice run. Oh. This is the practice run. Um, I need to, you know, rehearse holding the microphone in my hand. Now, I don't know if at this late stage it's a good idea to change a joke or not. Um, I don't think it probably is because um, I haven't rehearsed it, even though I'm going to be doing it twice tomorrow, I think. But I think it would be better with a studio audience. Is that what they say? Anyway, so I'm going to come on, I'm going to wave, hello, oh, hey, hello guys, I was all nervous, all nervous before coming on, but as soon as I get something long and hard in my hand, I feel fine, don't know why that is, um, do you know? She knows. Is everyone having a good day? It's great, isn't it? It's like an extended version of Britain's Got Talent, isn't it? Actors, singers. What about those girls in heels? Oh, amazing. I can't even stand upright in trainers. Never mind friggin' heels. Unbelievable. Do you know when you... Well, you probably don't, but I'm greedy. So you know when you put, like, too much ice cream on a cornet? Eventually it's just gonna fall on the floor. That would be me in heels. It would. Inevitable. Um. So... Did anyone here... I think I was the teacher when I came in. Did you think I was going to stop stop the proceedings for a fire fire drill? Well, I can assure you, I am not a teacher. I'm definitely a student. I'm a mature student. It's never too you're never too old. So, guys, in case you haven't realised, um, I've got a spine. That's bent. It's the story of my life. Um, you know when you you fill in forms, so you fill in like forms for passport or for the for a new doctor's. You know if you move house. Well, I literally I'm ticking every box. I'm running out of ink. So first box I tick over thirty. Ugh, awful. Then I'm taking homosexuality. Tick. Next box. Black. Okay, I'm not black. But I do got a very nice colour with that John Johnson's moisturiser. E but one year, I've got to tell you. One year. My friend told us to get these injections off the internet from from a reliable source. She said, "Reliable source from India." So they came. E oh my God! So I'm the type of person that does things to extremes, and in, they said it, the reliable source said, "Take." One dose over a week. So I took two doses over two weeks. Well, you've never seen a colour like it. Not in a human anyway. I was mahogany. So I, I go to me nana's on every Sunday for my lunch. Family, family type of guy. And I could see me nana looking at us. Because she's got a mahogany sideboard, and I, I could, I was in fear she was going to put things on us, you know, like a nice plate, nice cup, 
because I was literally I blended into the sideboard. I had to change where I normally sit. It was really awful, guys. Really awful. So, back to the questionnaire, you know, the one that I tick. The next box I tick is the disability box. Disability can make, sometimes make you go a little bit, mm, a little bit weird, can't it? I totally, totally get that. I get the, I feel exactly the same when someone says the word BAP. BAP. So yeah, it's totally, it's totally fine, I get it. But I'll tell you when disability is um, a nightmare for me. So, when I was younger, a few years ago now, not that long ago, I'm not a child of the Second World War, child of the Blitz. No, <laughs> a little while ago now, um, I used to look at people and I used to think, I used to wish I looked like them, or I used to wish I, I felt how I thought those people felt. So, very quickly, I kind of, I started wearing jackets or coats or hoodies, um, something that was, something that was, could um, cover us up, so I was, I thought I was invisible. That's all well and good, but when you're going clubbing and you're, you're dancing in a fashion, I was a little bit more mobile back in the day. Um, when I was dancing, so I was absolutely sweating. And of course, people are coming up to you because you, you know you're wearing a coat in a club, and um, it's a duffel coat. And they're saying, e, are you not hot? No. I'm Baltic. Stupid. Also, the time I went to Morocco, I did 35 degrees, and I'm wearing a duffel coat, lying on the sun lounger, like Kenny off South Park, with me hood up. Absolutely sweating like a pig in blanket, literally. And I was, I thought I can't. I'm, I'm literally, I'm dying. I'm shriveling up. So I thought I'm gonna have to go in the pool. I can't cope. Any normal person would take the coat off. No, not me. Straight in. I'm not a strong swimmer to start with, guys, but especially not with a duffel coat on. Well, I didn't realise. Me hood filled with water, pulled us backwards, pulled us under. The lifeguard, Mustafa, he jumped in. Hey, God, dragged us out. I'm lying on the, the side of the pool like a beached whale. Sopping I was. Absolutely sopping. They just left us, my friends, left us to dry out. Awful. Um. Right, guys, I need to warn you about this next. This next one, I'm going to have to tell you. This next story, I'm telling you. You have been warned. Do not picture this graphically. It will give you nightmares. So years ago. A few years ago, um, I was getting a, li a little bit intimate, a little bit intimate with a certain someone. Obviously, I had me hoodie on, as you do when you get intimate. Now, I was very drunk, so obviously, you know what you like when you're drunk. For me, I can only speak for me. But I think I'm like a Las Vegas porn star. So I'm doing a little bit of the reverse cowgirl, you know, as you do. 
engine. To this day, I do not know how I've done it, but I got my leg stuck in my hood in, in this weird sort of move. Oh my god. Well, I couldn't get out, but I didn't want to say anything because you don't, do you? You want to save face. So I... Yeah, so the only way I could get out was to tip off the end of the bed. So I was like going like that, like a concourse crab. Do you know what I mean? Off the, the side. Awful. I don't think either of us have recovered since that night. Well, I, I mean, I haven't. And I do, I do see the person now and again, and there's no eye contact. It's sad. Um, so guys, yes, I cut hair. When I'm not at university, I cut hair. And I live it. I've cut hair since I was very young. I'm not a child slave. Wasn't I wasn't put out to work, but I always I was always interested in arty stuff, creating. Um, so, yeah, I work in a salon. Um, it's in town, and it's it's really good. I love it. Apart from expectations, do you know what I mean? So you'll get someone coming in. So. You'll get someone coming in. Say, now, these are just names I'm plucking out the out of thin air, so don't, you know, if, if anyone's called these, I do apologise. So we'll, we'll say Tracy, Chantel, and Sharon. They've come in. They've come in for their, um, their hair done. So we'll start with Tracy. Tracy will come in and say, um, Hi, Liam. Oh, you all right, Tracy? What we're doing today? Oh, I'd like to look like Cheryl Cole. Cheryl Cole, Tracy. Yes, Cheryl Cole. Fucking hell, you look more like Andy Cole, Pat. Um, no problem. No problem. Um, also, um, You'll get Sharon coming in. You'll get Sharon coming in. She'll want to be blonde. She's got black hair, Sharon. I'm like, Sharon, you know, it, it's, a, it's a process. You have to go through the process of going from dark to blonde. No, no, no. I want to be blonde today, now. Sharon, I'm not freaking Harry Potter. Although... I do have a canny wand. Ask the guy who I was with when I got my legs stuck in my hood. He'll tell you. The last one is probably the worst for me with ex with, with expectations. So you'll get they'll come in. Who were left with Chantel? We're left with Chantel. So Chantel will come in. Bless her. We're like Chantel, just can't eat. Chantel will come in and she'll be like E Liam She's she's mocking by the way. E Liam, I'm gonna be dead brave. So well I'm thinking, ooh, get in. Bit of a you know, bit something a bit different. And and then she'll go, Yeah, I wanna be I'm gonna be dead brave. I'm going to have three millimetres off the end. Right. So I'm thinking, oh, oh must be colour, she's thinking. Then she'll say, now I don't want a colour change, mind. And I don't want any off the front. No fringe. Harry Chantel. That gives us a lot to work with there, doesn't it? So I'll do a hair. I'll cut a hair. And obviously, I'll show her the back. There you go, Chantel. What did she say? Eee! 
Yeah, it doesn't look much different. Nay nee shit, Chantel. Doesn't look any different. On your bike. Bloody. Ridiculous. But guys, I want you to know I feel very, very lucky. Why do I feel lucky? Because from being young, like I said, I wanted to be like everyone else. I wanted to fit in. This held us back because rather than fit in, rather than, st rather than stand out and be myself, I'd rather stay away. When I went away to places, I isolated. When I was invited to parties, I stayed away or arrived late or drunk. When I went to speak, I convinced myself I shouldn't when I, I, I shouldn't be heard. Years ago, I used to concentrate on the things that I couldn't do or the things that I didn't have. And you kind of you kind of forget the things that you do have. When I was younger, I kind of thought I'm not going to do the things other kids do. I can't do this, I can't do that. But you know what, that's a lie. It really is, and it's a lie for anyone in this room to think that they can't do something, or it's too late, or they're not good enough, or they're not worth it. Growing up, I didn't have any role models who I could look up to, who were on telly, um, film, or even at school, who had a dis like a disability. So that's why I kind of felt different. So that's why I stand, but I, I'm sitting obviously. That's why I stand on, sit on this stage, feeling vulnerable, extremely, in the hopes that any child or adult sees this and says to themselves, it's not, having a, di a disability it's, is not what about about what you can't achieve it really isn't it's about what you can achieve everyone deserves the chance to achieve everyone able-bodied disabled blind gay straight bi trans ginger everyone deserves to achieve so i thank all of you for letting me achieve today Before I go, I want to, this course is called Triple Threat. Um, well, I didn't know what Triple Threat was when I first started. Um, I thought Triple Threat, and this is um, God's honest truth, I thought Triple Threat was when you slept with three men in the same night who had STIs. Is that not Triple Threat? Now, But it's not. A tri triple threat is singing, acting, uh, a, an all-round performer. So I hope you'll join me in in a nice song. Um, it's a parody of a, a Kylie's new song. Now Kylie talks in her song about going out dancing, but because you know I'm older, I want to be down with the kids and all that. I, they don't call it dancing anymore, they call it sessioning. Did you know that? Are you going to do it? No, I'm going to sessioning. Sessioning. So this is my song. It's called Sessioning. Um, the chorus, the words are on the, the screen behind you. Pointing to my two fabulous Debbie McGee's. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoy and thanks again and uh, let's all go sessioning.